to live out by the simple gift of our baptism, confirmed in our confirmation, renewed every time we receive Holy Communion, and brought back to the Lord in the sacrament of reconciliation, anointed in the hands and the forehead of those who are sick, blessed and lifted up before God those who are married. And we pray this day, with the list we found in today's Gospel, that we would have the courage to feed the hungry, to give water to the thirsty, to clothe the naked, to welcome the stranger, to visit those in prison, and you know the corporal works of mercy, to bury the dead. This day we can add to that, that we pray and protect the unborn. We pray for and we love and have compassion for those who are dying. And we think of our brothers and sisters this day, this very day, who will be killed simply because they believe in Jesus as their Savior, as their God. Brothers and sisters, with hope and with joy we have gathered. We continue our prayer now. In a few moments' time we will ask the Lord to bless our country yet again. But as we do so, let it ring true in our own hearts. Let us start here with ourselves, individually, as community, as church.